Good afternoon. It's Kristen here for some weekly announcements for Eastminster. And bear with me, there's quite a few things that I have to announce today, and I think they're all important. So first, this Sunday, we're starting a new sermon series in worship. It's called Our Money Story, and it's our sermon series for the season of stewardship. Hopefully, you saw this morning on Facebook our first Why I Give story. As each week during this season, an elder is going to share a little bit of their money story, why they give. So we're going to be exploring these stories, our own money stories and, our, and money stories found in scripture in our morning devotions on Facebook and in worship on Sunday and in Bible studies. So there's a journal and a mandala to accompany this series. I passed them out last Sunday if you drove by the church. We are going to be coloring in that mandala each week as part of our worship service. So if you have not got those items yet, please contact the church office and you can arrange to stop by and pick them up or we can get them mailed out to you. This Sunday, not only are we starting a new series, but we are having communion. So make sure you have bread and cup ready before you watch the service. And to aid in that, on Saturday, Heather Meyer is going to be leading bread baking on Zoom this Saturday, 10 a.m. This is a great opportunity to gather with others, to prepare bread for communion the next day, and to learn. Maybe you've never baked bread before. Heather found a recipe that only takes an hour to prepare, so you don't have to commit a whole lot of time that day. In our Wednesday email, we had included the ingredients that you need to have ready and the Zoom link. But you can contact me if you haven't found it. Also on Sunday, we're celebrating All Saints Day. We're remembering the saints of our church, naming the folks we lost this year. In these days, when we haven't been able to gather for funerals in the same ways that we're used to, I think All Saints Day is even more important. I'd encourage you to prepare uh, for this day by having your own candle or candles ready to light in your homes. While I light candles for our members, that way you can light your own candle honoring the loved ones you have lost. Worship premieres at 10 a.m. on both Facebook and YouTube, and you can watch it anytime, of course. After worship, do join us on Zoom at 11 a.m. for fellowship for a virtual coffee time, a time to check in with each other and see how, see how we're all doing. Stewardship letters and pledge cards were mailed out this past week to those who were unable to come by the church on Sunday. Let us, let us know if you haven't gotten those. This year, you can even fill out your pledge card online. We're trying to make it easy. So go to our website to fill it out, or you can mail in your pledge card. <clears throat> and thank you in advance for the ways you give to the church. Lastly, we all know that this is election season, and election day is Tuesday. There are a lot of emotions surrounding this election. There's a lot of division. So I invite you to come together with me on Zoom on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. for an election night communion service. Let's be fed with the bread of heaven and the cup of life. Let's come together to acknowledge that Jesus is Lord of all and that there is still so much that unites us. And don't forget to change your clocks this weekend. The good news is, even if you have the wrong time, you'll still be able to worship online whenever you remember. Stay well, stay safe. See you on Sunday.